You gotta believe you've got an edge on the other team to beat them. Our ability to keep everybody grounded and keep everybody relaxed has just made us play so well all season. First tournament. I have never been down here before, and I was just super excited to see what was happening, see the competition in the South, since we don't really see the teams in the South throughout the season. So, yeah, I was both super excited and super nervous to see what would happen. Right when we got to the airport, I feel like I had so many nerves going on because I was so excited to, like, just get started. Like, once we got on the plane, I was ready. I wanted to play. I wanted to leave it all out there, all together, because I knew that we were prepared to go in and play our first game. Work in. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Okay. Hey, don't judge. How you feeling, G? Feeling loose? Yeah. Everybody good? I like it nice and fast, nice and smooth. Talk to each other, OK? Um, we're the North champions, right? Let's, let's practice like the North champions, all right? Give me something in here. Seniors, give me something here, okay? All right, Chris, one, three. One, two, three, Chris. Chris. All right, let's go. I like it, I like it. We think we're ready to play and ready to win. And, um, you know, that, that, I think that goes a long way. Attitude is, is so important in this game. It's a, a lot of it's played, you know, above the neck. And um, you got to have that confidence going in that, that, that you have what it takes to beat this other team. I feel good. That's always a good thing. Tell you what, I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get my competitive juices rolling. Once, once the game starts, we're all in. We're in it. That's all she's going to do with that. Throw the ball. I'm not trying to get hit. I'm just saying, you take the, if you take the inside part of the plate away from her, she's, she's half the pitcher she is. All right, you understand that? Just get inside as far as you can. That's what we talked about. That's what we talked about. That's how you execute. That's how you execute! We knew we were going to play North Carolina Central, who had a pitcher named Courtney Mirabella, who has over 200 strikeouts for the season, which is extremely impressive. It's fourth in the nation at that time um, for strikeouts. So even though you come in kind of with not like a chip on your shoulder, just with that information in the back of your head, I personally came into that game extremely confident. One, because they had ended our season a year ago. So there was a little bit of rivalry, a little bit of... Um, annoyance with that. We didn't really want them to end our season twice in two years. Um, so that's why, one, I came in super confident because I knew to win we would have to be confident. And two, once the game started going, I realized that we have the best defense in the MEAC and if we play good defense, no one will be able to score on us. Okay, that's championship team right there. Championship that's championship team. stuff. That's championship stuff. Yeah. Hey, hey. Great I don't need to give a speech. Keep going, baby. Keep going. I don't, I don't need to say a thing. Hey, look. Hey, look. We took adversity. They, they, we threw the girl with all the strikeouts and the big strikeout record. We won. Do we win? Do we win? Do we win? All right. We won. We won. Fam, you are notorious for being loud, for having a lot of energy, for being very vocal, and at times quite animated. 
So I think that we knew going into it that it was going to be an intense game because of the energy that they bought and also the energy that we were bringing into it. Going into the game, I knew it would be a tough game. I knew all of the games down here would be a tough game because we're all good teams. Um, I knew that they were very loud, very on their toes, very aggressive. So I knew that we had to bring it, give it our all in that game. <laughs> Gabby! Hey. Go, one down, one down, one down. Hey. Got it! You have good pitching, you stay in tight games, but sometimes those tight games, the ball bounces, uh, you know, not to your not not to your advantage. In this case, the ball just got up into a to a gust of wind, and that that's that was our uh, that was our way to lose. So it's unfortunate. We were in that game the whole entire game. The bench was loud, everyone was talking, the energy was so high, and it's just devastating losing to those tight games like that. At first base, number 19, Stormy Zizek. Bottom of the seventh, three new score, Hampton five, Morgan State three. We knew that they were a good team, so knowing that they're a good team, but we're a better team. We knew that we were going to prevail again, but I mean, you just come up short. It was just tough because we always put everything that um, we've had all season in every game that we played, whether we came up short or we didn't, but it was heartbreaking because that's not the way we wanted to go out and we shouldn't have went out that way. And uh, you know, Hampton's a good team, um, make no mistake. So it's not like we lost to uh, somebody that wasn't capable of beating us. So unfortunately, we, uh, we didn't get the hits when we needed. Uh, we had plenty of opportunities in the game, and I think one hit here, one hit there, and uh, we win that game, but unfortunately we didn't. It's just a tremendous, tremendous opportunity to have, uh, to be able to be around um, a great university like Morgan State, to be able to have the support of, of, of great administrators and to be able to have you know, access to uh, young ladies from all over the world. We have, you have uh, players from all over you know, the United States and foreign countries and to bring them all together and mold them into something that's tangible and great, it's, it's, you, know, you don't get to do those kind of things too much in life, you know, and to impact people's lives. I think we, we, all share, we all share a common good and I'm happy to do this with these young ladies and my coaches and, and the staff and it's just, it's just a tremendous place to be and a tremendous feeling to have it's on a daily basis.